Community anger against stage three of the West Connects project saw 10,000 written submissions handed to the Department of Planning today. They were collected by the West Connects Action Group, made up of residents worried about the impact the giant motorway will have on their lives. Chris Maher explains. Well, it's deadline day for submissions on the third stage of the giant West Connects project, and today thousands have put forward their point of view. Now, anti West Connects protesters have delivered 10,000 signed submissions rejecting the West Connects proposal to the planning department head office in the Sydney's CBD. The submissions argue the multi billion dollar roadway will not solve. Sydney's traffic congestion and drivers won't be prepared to fork out hefty tolls to use it. It comes with doubts over the construction of stage three including the world first three level underground interchange at Roselle. Reports today also suggest growing investor uncertainty about West Connects with concerns not enough details are being released on its planning. This is not a road that's being built for transport purposes, that this is a road that's being built as a financial investment asset that is actually going to make most transport in the areas where it goes in and out worse. 60 days were given by planning officials for submissions on the latest stage of West Connects, which connects St Peter's to Haberfield. Now, protest organisers say, along with the submissions today, there'll be thousands more provided online.